So don't be afraid. If you feel it's the right thing to do and the price is low enough, don't be afraid to buy something that has no track record of sales on eBay. Hello everybody, welcome to Commonwealth Flipper. My name's Kevin. We're in the Commonwealth cabin and it's raining outside and I always say it's probably noisy, but most of y'all say you can't hear the rain, so. Can you hear the rain? <laughs> Pepper is right outside the door because, you know, there's a little porch on the outside of this cabin here. And she's sitting right there. I almost stepped on her last time I went out, but there's a little rug out there. And she doesn't like to be inside very much during the day, so she's sitting for right out there today. And the baby kitten is upstairs, is home. Reagan's named the cat, but she wants to tell you all about the cat. It is unbelievable to me that this cat just literally showed up here at our house underneath the bushes. And Reagan said, how could, you know, it was meant to be, apparently. So, I guess it was meant to be. <laughs> Can't be worse than boots, right? Hey, I had some items to sell today that I'm really, really happy about. And it's because those items, when I bought them, had no comps on eBay. So don't be afraid. If you feel it's the right thing to do and the price is low enough, don't be afraid to buy something that has no track record of sales on eBay, depending on what the item is, of course. Now, if it has items that are listed on eBay, like 50 of them and no sold, don't buy it. Even if it has a few things on eBay that are low priced with no sold comps, probably not a good idea. But occasionally, and I love being the only person selling something on eBay, and I don't know if I'm the only one who's ever sold this thing on eBay, I highly doubt that, but I certainly haven't seen any comps in the last little while. And when I looked them up for the first time, there was no comps either on the sold side or on the listed side, but I still bought them because the price is right. And I'm gonna show you those in just a second. I talked about them a little bit the other day, but I'm gonna talk about them a little bit more extensively today, and let's take a look at what else sold. All right, the first item that sold actually, I think you can see it up there. If you can't, I'll turn it, but I'm pretty sure you can with these uh, GoPros. They got a pretty wide lens. Is that Clue game? And you, if you've been watching the Commonwealth Picker channel, I bought it for a buck a few weeks ago, and I knew it wouldn't be a big seller, but I wanted to see if Reagan wanted it first, and she told me she didn't want it. She's never played Clue, so how would she know how to play uh, Harry Potter Clue? She loves Harry Potter, and by the way, that's a little bit of a hint for the new cat's name. Maybe you should run a contest. I think we should. <laughs> anyway, this game was bought by Laura. It was bought by a viewer and she left a note. So let me read it to you real quick. What? What do you want? What do you want? All right, here's Pepper. I don't know if you've heard her, but up oh, now she wants down. She wanted something. What do you want? All right, she says, Hi, Kevin and family. I've recently come across your Commonwealth Picker and Flipper channels, and I'm hooked. I appreciate the balance of entertainment and insight you offer. I'm interested in getting an eBay store and possibly even an antique booth going. So the information is very helpful. Any thoughts on good cameras and equipment needed for producing social media content? I'm excited to purchase an item from you. Thanks for the great tips, Laura from Milwaukee. So Laura, thank you. We appreciate it. And that's headed your way. And as far as cameras and stuff, look, I say this every once in a while, people don't believe it. It is the absolute truth. I have virtually no technological skills. I am awful. The fact that I have a YouTube channel blows my mind. I do everything that I do, with the exception of the video right here and the video out garage selling. I do it with a phone, everything. Edit it, everything. I don't do anything on the computer except for when I actually, you know, click it to upload a video. So I'm not the person to ask for that. I can just tell you what I use. I use my iPhone and I use a GoPro 7 in here, Hero Black, and a GoPro 8 Hero Black when I'm out garage selling. So. I'll tell you what, for social media, you know, you don't need anything. You don't need to have really expensive stuff to do a good job, to do an okay job, especially for a beginner. I hate to tell people to go out and invest money in a bunch of high-priced stuff when you really don't need it. At any rate, thank you, Laura, and I'm sorry that's probably not the answer you're looking for, but that's my honest opinion on the situation. What's up? What do you want? You want out? Hmm? You want to go upstairs, don't you? Mm. 
All right, I may be a little wet here. Pepper was begging to get out of here, so she, I think she wanted upstairs with Turner, so I took her up there. Here, here's a decal. Can't really see it because it's backwards and covered up, but it's a vintage decal. I've told this story before. We bought a box of decals for five bucks. Had over a thousand of them in it. We sell them in the booth for a dollar a piece, and we're down to maybe 50 left. And then we sold maybe a hundred or so on eBay in different lots. And I think we're down to one more of these, and that's it. We made a ton of money off of that box of decals, and we're still making it, especially in the booth. This one didn't sell for much, but it sold for $8.99 free shipping. And of course, it's all pure profit at this point. And it says uh, Daytona 400, July 4th, Firecracker. Daytona Speedway. All right, here are the two that I was talking about earlier. I bought these at a garage sale. They had 50 cents a piece on them. You'll see that one's torn. But there was a whole box of them, and I was there at the very end of the garage sale. And a lot of times when you're at, uh, this was like a fundraiser garage sale, where people just come in and donate all their stuff, and the people there are selling it off trying to make money. I love those sales, because there's no personal attachment to anything. And at the end of the sale, you can get some great deals. So I bought a box full of these things, 31 of them. So what would the price be? $15.50? I paid $5 for the entire box. I might not even have paid that much, to be honest with you. I have to go back and look at that video. And it's called Smudger, and it says smudger.com on the back. And there are no comps, sold comps on eBay, except for the one that I've sold at this point. And I'm like, I'm going to buy these things, and we're going to take a little roll of the dice and see if they sell. So sometimes I think it's key to roll the dice, especially if the price is right. You could make a mistake like this and pay two, three, four, five dollars You could make a mistake five ten times and if it hits one time it's going to pay off and you're going to make a bunch of money on it so we're going to make some decent money not like home run money here but when these things are all gone we'll make about 150 dollars these two sold for 24.98 i think and they'll definitely go these are going to go out four ounce rate these things are light as could be and we've sold one already so i want you to take a look at the numbers on this buy right here all right so here it is the smudger Bought 31 for, I think it was less than, but I'm going to put five bucks just in case because I can't remember. And I've sold one and really made all that money back. Not quite, so I'm going to say we still owe a dollar on that original box. And so we'll put that down here. Two of them here sold for $24.98. Fees are $3.74. Shipping's $3.18. And then the $1 cost brings us to $17.06 in profit after selling three of those. So we've got, you know, 20, what is that, 28 to go. So we're going to make some really, really good money. We'll make around $150 on two listings. That's it, just two listings and easy, easy shippers. We might put an hour to an hour and a half total with the purchase, the pictures, the listing, the shipping, and we'll end up making about 150 bucks. All right, I have a few more sales that I haven't quite picked up yet. So we're going to go in the back, grab them, and show them to you really quick and tell you what they sold for. All right, the first one back here is a sale that I've talked about before that I kind of regretted because it was labor intensive. But this one right here is going to break us even, and the next sale was pretty good. That just came across, so I'm going to show it to you tomorrow. All right, it is in the Montana bin. I can find the right one. Looks like it's right there. All right, there it is. And I don't even know what this guy's called, but it is Jurassic World. And it sold for $20 plus shipping. But you'll see it's not the easiest shipper in the world. I'm going to have to find a unique box to keep that thing small. But uh, that's not bad. And this is going to break us even so far on our Jurassic Park buy. And we still have maybe eight or nine things left to sell. The next one is another thing that I thought when I bought it was going to be okay. And then I looked it up and I'm like, this is not okay. I'm still, I'm not mad I bought it because I bought it in a lot of stuff. But it's not going to make us a ton of money. All right, I think, yeah, it's not in there. Maybe in the Ohio bin. Yeah, look at that. It's in the Ohio bin right at the top. Redskins NFL tailgating tape. And I did not pay $2 for it. It was in a lot. So I might have paid 50 cents, maybe a buck and got some other stuff, including this, what did I get over here? The pillows, the Redskins pillows. At any rate, this one sold, and I think it sold for $4.99 plus shipping. So it is not a huge profit, but it is a profit, and the other items will sell pretty well. 
All right, next item here is this Christmas tree, which we talked about yesterday, but I'll show it to you again in case you didn't see that show. And it is just, it's, I think we have one more of these left, and maybe a white one, I think. But uh, sold for $39 plus shipping. It'll go FedEx. It'll be shipped out exactly like this. I'll just put some extra tape to reinforce it. And we make, you know, 22 something, $23 on these every time we sell them. And it's really not that much work. And we usually do mul multiple listings. So same listing and a quantity of like seven or eight every year, sometimes 10 or 11. But the green ones don't sell incredibly well. Next one sold to Carol, and she left a message, and then I'll go back there and show it to you real quick. She says, still loving the videos, especially the yard sales. Keep finding the good stuff. Can't wait to get my books, Carol. And I'm going to show you these two Bibles here in a second. $25.52 plus shipping. And Carol, we really do appreciate it. And you've bought multiple times, so we really do appreciate your support. And I have one message here that I've been forgetting to mention. You saw us get like three or four Delaware plates not too long ago. And one of them I never mentioned, and I apologize for it. I'm not sure if I can pronounce your name, but Akram Maruf, I think I've got that right. He sent us a Delaware plate, and he's from Canada. And I think the eBay shop is awesome, except for it's O-W-S-S-O-M. So we appreciate it. We appreciate your family support and watching us. And we thank you so much. And that Delaware plate's in the back back there. So hopefully you've uh, seen it. And here are the two Bibles. This one I bought at a sale very recently. And I think maybe this one was at the same sale. And we were paying a dollar a piece. Sold for 25 and change. Plus shipping to Carol. And we really, really do appreciate it. So there you go. This is actually a handbook to the Bible. And this is the Bible itself. The old time gospel hour version. You hear Bubba out there lawn mowing? Yeah. Yeah. Were you out there helping him? All right. Hey, what do you got there? A puppet and um, it's, who was his name? Lamb Chop. Lamb Chop. Do you hear the cat outside the door? Yeah. Let's go see who it is. Nope. Pepper. Pepper. How you doing, girl? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Turner, I bought that for a buck. Sold it for, I think, twelve eighty one, but I left the sheet in the other room, so that might not be exactly accurate. Yeah. But that's definitely enough for you to have enough money to do what? Yeah. Spend a dollar, donate a dollar, and save a dollar. Awesome, right? buddy. Thank you. Bye. Hey, two Under Armour shirts. What do you know? Surprise, surprise. We're actually dwindling down slowly but surely on these. Uh, we do have some left, but $14.95 plus shipping on this lot of two, size medium. All right, two right here. One for $37 and one for $17, which is awesome. You know, we're going to end up making over $40 on this deal right here, all pure profit at this point. And they came from the very same place that I bought those smudgers out there. The smudger buy was the second time the same group had a yard sale at the same location. And it was like the leftovers. If you remember the garage sale I went to with my daughter and my wife, well, this one was a couple weeks later at the same location and I found all those after we made seven, $800 the first time. Then we found those and some other things. And this was the third time, and these were new arrivals because I wouldn't have missed these the first time. So, uh, you know, how easy is that to make $40 profit right there? And the one that's really expensive is the uh, the Sheer Blush. 37, 38 bucks, I can't even remember, I wrote it down over there. And then this one is Pink Shimmer, and I think this was 17. All right, one going out to Bonnie, one going out to Wayne, one going out to Tiffany, and one going out to Shauna. And Shauna left a message. Thank you so much for sharing your years of knowledge and continued learning opportunities. Love seeing the kiddos involved. The anime. What am I going to do when the kids grow up here? You know? I mean, most of y'all watch because my kids are cute. You know, I get it. So, <laughs> This anime is to help me bolster sales in Q4. Thanks so much. If you and your kiddos will sign him, that would be awesome, Shauna. So we will definitely do that. Thank you so much. And thanks to the other folks as well. We appreciate it. And it's headed your way. Hey, this one's going off to Kevin. Great name. So many Kevins I've seen around here. It's amazing. Buying stuff from the CommonwealthPicker.com store, and you guys are awesome. So, love watching your channel. It's my go-to each day. My sales have slowed way down since switching to manage payments. Uh, hoping to get them moving again very soon. Thanks for all the great content, Kevin at Deer Run Depot. Now, Kevin, I don't want to you know tell people this is the gospel truth, but I heard that from a few people early on and i have since heard from them that there's no problem they're looking at the data from week to week and 
there's really no difference. I think there may be some other factors at play, but I don't think the two correspond. I had a couple of slow days there myself, but it wasn't immediately after I started managed payments. It was a few days later. And you know, that happens. I don't overreact to good days and bad days. And don't even overreact to good weeks and bad weeks, in my opinion. Just take the opportunity of the time you're not spending shipping to source well and more importantly, to list. And I think it'll pay off in the end because there's always ebbs and flows to this. And when you hit that hot streak, you know, you want to have as much stuff listed as possible. At any rate, thanks for all the content. Kevin at Deer Run Depot. Deer Run Depot. Thank you, Kevin. We appreciate it and keep us updated on how your sales are going. All right, and last one, this is going off to Kyle in Tennessee. We love watching your show. We also love how you teach your kids about money and plan to do the same when our son, and we plan to do the same when our son is older. Thanks so much for the time you put into everything. We'd love a signature and happy picking. So that's awesome. Thank you, Kyle, and thank you to your whole family, and I uh, wish you the best of luck with your young son there. Hopefully he, uh, he can go out there picking with you here before you know it. So thank you, Kyle. We appreciate it. I will head out there for something, not quite sure what, but we hope you guys are doing great and we hope you're getting a bunch of stuff listed headed into Q4 here before you know it. And we appreciate you stopping by and visiting us every day or every few days or so. So thanks so much and we'll see you next time. All right, Reagan, just want to say thanks to a few folks. Three folks? You had three sales? Okay, who, who bought something from you? Lynn, John, and Tim. Thank you. <laughs> Lynn, John, and Tim bought some t-shirts from you. Awesome. And don't forget to get your t-shirt and sticker at commonwealthpicker.com.